yes welcome back ladies and gentlemen today we're playing some outpost uh i have i have not looked anything into this map whatsoever um i know that it is world war ii weapons for for sure or maybe i think it's cold war weapons i can't i can't remember what it said but ladies and gentlemen you know the drill go ahead hit that subscribe button uh go go down below comment uh like share I, i'm just i'm just kidding you guys don't have to do all that um but seriously though if you guys want to help with the channel um you know sharing the video huge help huge help uh and then obviously subscribing would be crazy but i mean it's it's, it's nothing nothing required i just want you guys to sit back you know relax enjoy the video um but yeah i mean right off the bat you know i'm loving the scenery it's kind of giving a um like call of the dead type of like vibes gotta love m 11 dude this gun is so good it's it's definitely it's definitely one of my favorite weapons to start off with i did i did like um uh god what am i blanking on it bo3's starting pistol was definitely peak i i i just i have a bias for this weapon you know this weapon is just so good for some reason anytime i shoot it it just, just it, like just, just listen who doesn't like that i mean like i might as well just post a video of asmr m1911 shooting videos <laughs> no but seriously let's get some quick revive let's get some doors open up i want to see what's going on here all right so it seemed like we're inside of a facility box is right there oh so oh okay there's this door just being so stupid i was like there's no way that's a debris and i can't jump over it um yeah i don't want to down right away that'd be kind of embarrassing all right might have to open up this door might actually have to get a weapon otherwise i'm gonna die right here i'm gonna die no no not yet not yet all right <laughs> yeah, that was a little too close. That was a little bit too close. I wonder if we can get enough money for uh for the box out here. I don't really want to risk it. What is on here? Bullfrog. Bullfrog's pretty good. I want to look around though. So there's nothing over here. We can rebuild a barrier really quick to get some points. All right, let's get around here. I want to see what weapons are in the spawn. Um, is it a Marshall? Marshalls are pretty nice. Yeah, I don't know what I want though. I'm gonna rebuild some barriers really quick though, because I do want to try to maximize as many, as many points as I can. I, I want to check to see how many more doors it is until we get to the box. Because if I can, I do. I do. I would rather, you know, get a spin from the box. What was this? A little fish. No fishy. Uh, he might die if I shoot him again. All right. So it seems like we have. Oh, uh, actually, let me see. Oh no, that okay. All right, let's not down. Insta kill. That'd be pretty nice. Let's go ahead and throw a nade. Try to kill this last zombie so we can get insta kill for the next round. Come on, buddy. Actually, can I just get around this? Yeah, I can. No, I can't. All right. Where's he at? While we're at it. No, where's he at, actually? Is he stuck somewhere? Okay, well, there's Jug. Does anybody else hear him? I hear him. <laughs> Where the fuck is this guy? Might have to restart the match. No, I hear him. Where's he at? Is he stuck? All right, is he over here? Oh, he he got glitched out. Unfortunate, but it's fine. Uh, okay, I'll go with the Groza. I actually don't remember this weapon. I don't know if that sounds weird, but I, I don't. Hmm. Kind of remind me of a three burst. It's definitely full auto. 
If we can, I want to try to get a max though. I don't, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of, uh, of weapons on early rounds because it's just like, it's a little too strong, you know, for points. Um, so if we can get a max, you know, and, and try to get some points with the M1911, that'd be sick. Knifing's always good. Just not dying. Dying is always bad. Yeah, it's a one shot to the head. Alright, let's get some knife kills though. And... Alright, so let's go open up the map a little bit more. Uh, I don't really want to see what's on that side just yet until I get this side opened up. Um, Alright, let's get here. Ooh, the XM4 is pretty nice. Ooh, a nice little fire. Alright, so we can't go this way at all. Hmm. This would be really nice if the zombies just all <laughs> spawned over here for us to match. Oh, we have a special weapon. Okay, so that's gonna be... I think, I think that's infinite ammo. What the fuck? Why was he running at me like that? Could he get over the barrier? Alright, so... um, I guess the next goal here would try to be to go get Jug. Although, I do not know what power is. So that's definitely gonna be something to take into consideration. Um, I think there's an Easter egg in this map. Might be a small one. I mean, I'll probably be, like, pretty straightforward, if anything. Damn. Y'all, that's, like, the worst feeling. <clears throat> like, any any time that you get... Any time that you get a nuke in the beginning of a round. It's just terrible. Alright, let's go ahead and switch out our weapon here. Number one priority is staying alive. Let's rebuild this barrier so I can kind of, like, camp. I can probably get away with shooting. Oh. Alright, W aim. Uh, I definitely want to try to get some points now. Maybe we'll hit the box. I don't think there's going to be PhD in this map, so I'm probably not going to keep this weapon. Unfortunately. Usually I do, but, you know, he's pretty weak. Yeah, we'll we'll keep him because he's pretty weak. I'm pretty sure he's just one knife. So if we get if we get stuck in a corner for some reason. I wonder what that is. There's so many fish. It's probably part of something. I do think power is on. So let's go ahead and hit the box. Oh, no, power is not. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So they can, they can go through here. That's so wild. I don't really want a Mac 10. Whatever I get is what I get though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's just trying to give it right back. That's too funny. All right, not that way. All right, let's not die now. Let's pull out our OP weapon. It's only round seven though. Kind of like this gun a little bit more. Try to get a little more points out of the zombies. So we're not killing them too fast. But yeah, how's everybody doing? How's your guys' day? You guys do anything fun? Let me know down in the comments what you guys did today. If you guys have any special plans, you know, if you guys are watching it's close to the weekend, what you guys got going on this weekend. Um I'm gonna get out of there. Okay, I didn't hit him at all. Um, this area isn't too bad, but it's definitely going to get a little bit busier as the round progresses. Not too worried, though. I want to free up some space over here. Alright, let's go explore a little bit more. Um, I, I wonder if power is over on that side. Uh, but I mean, it makes the most sense. It's probably near Jug or at least somewhere near it. Okay, well, 
There we go. Yeah, jug is a necessity. All right. I feel like I think that'd be kind of cool if it was part of something. I I kind of wish this was like an elevator. That'd have been pretty sick. What is this gun though? The C58. I, I still don't know what like half these guns are. Like I don't know if that's terrible of me, but I, I really don't know what half the guns are. All right, so obviously we can't go this way. I think we got everything we needed from. Oh, we do need to open up this door though. Uh, so that just has elemental pop in it. So we did choose the right way. Um, I need to be on the lookout for parts. Because if there is a shield, that would be really, really nice. Um, but if not, you know, it's chilling. I, I definitely don't need the shield as a crutch. I mean, no, I, 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 would, I prefer to have it. I think everybody does. Alright, let's go ahead and activate our special ability. Especially double points. This would be great. Any zombies over here? Nope. They're all spawning right there. Sweet. Man, this double points can be clutch. We're racking up some points now. Um. Where's the last zombie? All right, so we got two coming from over there. Let's go ahead and just open this door. Uh. Okay. This is really cool. So pack a punch is just chilling right here. Um, I thought maybe we had to do something really quick to get access to it, but it seems like we don't. There is another opening. Oh, there's no opening. Okay, maybe that is part of something. Um, let's go ahead and let's get rid of let's get rid of these. Uh. You know what? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's get enough points. Let's open this up. I don't even know this is a debris. So let's use this area kind of as, as a training spot. Oh, these logs have no significance. Okay. It is dog ground. So let's look around for a little bit. All right, so still one shot. Sweet. So I'm guessing that's where the Bible ending is probably gonna be, considering the map is called Outpost. Did he just disappear through the ground? W aim. Please don't say he despawned. Okay. Yo, these zombies just get to go where the fuck they want. Oh, I'm gonna have to be careful of that. That kind of sucks. Where is the Hell's Retriever when you need it? Let's see what this is. How do you pronounce that? Hower? Yeah. Howier. So, Electric Cherry would be kind of clutch. Especially for, like, you know, tight quarter situations like this when I'm reloading. Don't really want to deal with all the traffic. Um, but this might seem like a decent spot to like train him up a little bit. We might honestly just have to camp up there though, if that is the the goal here. Do have to be careful. I'm pretty sure the zombies can just walk freely on basically any part of the snow. Oh, I didn't want to get the man. I'm so dumb sometimes. Fucking blows. Yo, but let me know in the comments uh, down below. You guys uh, hype for BO6? I really hope they don't, you know, botch the... Uh, <laughs> I, I just, I hope they get round base right. I don't think it takes much, man. I mean, when you when you have a uh, custom zombies, you know, just, just regular everyday people like you and I making custom zombie maps that like look like this, you know, it's, it's not... It's not hard for a million dollar corporation to you know kind of do the same thing <laughs> i mean but then again i'm not a game dev so i i don't know all the struggles that go into it maybe it's a lot harder than i i think it is um but man dude i just i really i really hope that they they please the community 
I don't think it's gonna be any near anywhere near as good as a uh, bo3 especially in terms of the story um, that story will always be peak um, although I hope I hope Rick Toffin has a little bit a little bit to do with this story uh, some cameos um, I haven't I've been really bad at staying up to date with uh, this new storyline it's just it's really hard for me to get into it you know because you know for 11 years we had a, a pretty congruent story that we all you know love and share together and uh now that that's done it's just you know it kind of it's just it's kind of hard to top that we we got, we got we got so used to certain characters you know oh sweet All right, let's um, let's open up this door to see what we have going on here. I, I feel like the Bible ending is gonna be right here, so I'm kind of curious to see how much it's gonna be. Uh, hello, night, Swiss. What is this? Oh, it's just dead shot. Had me tricked there for a sec. Did not mean to do that. Let's get around these guys. Um, we can probably train them up right here. This should be fine. It's a little tighter than I want it to be, obviously, but if it does the job, then there's no complaining here. Except for that spawn. That spawn's gonna be interesting. Right, let's go ahead and let's loop them around one more time. And one more time. All right, let's get around here. I think I survived this. Yeah, okay. Thank God for what is one. Might have died there. And again. And again. Alright, let's watch her back a little bit. Apparently we do need what is one. Alright, let's keep this guy. We don't have any more what is one left. I wanna grab this carpenter just to close up some of these doors. Our barricades. Let's go try to get a better weapon. Um, and maybe we'll pack a punch. But let's open up this final door. Wonder fizz. It's very nice. Okay, so can I do anything with this? No. Okay. We gotta start. We gotta keep a lookout for like a little bit of Easter eggs. Double tap. I definitely want that. Can you just? Okay, so he has to actually go around that. I feel like that has to do something with the fish, though. I didn't... Oh, I can't go in there. Forgot. Okay. Not a fan. Not a fan. Um... Yeah, let's... Let's loop back around. Let's, let's get one more box set. I don't really think a sniper is going to be pretty good, you know, considering how tight that quarter is going to be. And the Tundra is a bolt action, so... And I don't really want this, either. <laughs> this is pretty badass, though. I, I do... I... Okay, I have to say... I wasn't a hater on, like... Uh, um... Activision's takes on... Zombies. Um, especially, you know, like, you know, World at War, or I mean, uh, uh, World War Two, and, uh, you know, Infinite Warfare Zombies. You know, I mean, for what it was, I thought it was pretty decent. I had a lot of fun. I, I always had, I always have fun anytime there's new zombies, um, and interested to see, you know, how the game, uh, you know, puts their own spin on things. I feel like there's always, like, something that you can really appreciate. I really feel like we can get out of there. But yeah, I always feel like there's something we can really appreciate about, you know, different devs and uh, the way they think, you know, zombies should be and how they portray their own story. I've always really enjoyed that. Um, I thought Zombies in Space Line was peak. Like, that that shit reminded me, like, straight out of, like... I mean, you guys are going to flame me in the comments, but, like, Drys and Drog. I mean, obviously, Drys and Drog. Way, way better. But, I mean, just having those four different wonder weapons to go around the map you know collecting different parts and pieces 
and um I mean, even the boss fight. I mean, just just the map alone was just so much fun. I loved the atmosphere, loved the music. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I played any of the DLC. Uh, that that is the one thing I didn't do for other games other than Treyarch games. Um, I kind of just grinded the multiplayer, and then once I got bored from that, then I kind of just you know up and dipped. You know, I didn't really wait for any new DLC to come around. Um, probably hopped on to a different game let's take care of this guy All right, I do want to make sure that the dog gets down here though because I don't want to I don't really want to um, fuck around too much and lose my max ammo again sweet all right so let's keep a zombie at the end of this round and let's go and try to find there's there's gotta be a Bible ending. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure there's a Bible ending. Um if not, I think there might be a, some sort of an Easter egg we can do. I'm not too sure though. What did we get? What is that? Huh. Um, what else? I will, I will say that, uh, you know, Black Ops 6, if they, I think they're coming back out with the, um, like the pick 10 system. And I have to say, I was a pretty big fan of that back in, uh, BO2. I don't know. I, I just, I don't really like being able to run every single perk you want to. And also create a class that's a oops, they made me kill that, but a class that's a little OP. I really like the the trade-off between like, you know, you can you can either run hella perks, you know, tailored towards your playstyle, or you can run no perks and uh, run a fully kitted out gun. You know, I really I always loved like the different playstyles. I don't obviously there's there's always gonna be a meta uh, for these types of games. Um but I don't, I don't really, I can't ever really say I appreciate the COD metas that end up coming into fruition. They usually kind of like kill the game just a little bit. But the nice thing is, is playing COD early on, it usually takes maybe about a week for people to start to discover which weapons are more viable than others. I mean, but then again, you know, you have people who are grinding for camos still, so... Keeps the game a little fun. Um, I'm kind of wondering how they're going to do skill-based matchmaking. Because I've heard it's been atrocious lately. Uh, I, I mean, I haven't... To be honest with you guys, I haven't played. I haven't really played any of the new COD games. They kind of lost me after uh, BO4. Alright. Yeah, so they kind of lost me after like BO4. Which kind of sucks. Uh, I mean, BO4, it, even in my opinion, wasn't even a bad game. I don't, I don't think it was. But I mean, you guys have your own opinion on it, um, which is cool. So we can't do anything about this. Just kind of see those. Okay. Target zero shot. This might be the. Point of the outpost. Okay, here we go. Target one shot. Two. Did it spawn over there? I don't know. We might need that sniper for a reason. I want to get off of here before I get locked in. I might have gotten locked in already. Okay. Um... Doesn't... Oh, here we go. Alright, so... Definitely checking windows for sure. Now where'd it go? No, it wasn't it. Oh, here we go, okay. 
All right, target four. Yeah, I keep checking inside these areas. A little cheeky. Nope. Nope, that's just a window. Been stupid. Oh, that's just a just a perk head. All right, let's see if it did spawn down in here. Okay, there we go. So it kind of will spawn sporadically. All right. Let's check over here really quick. You never know. Could be spawning a set of windows. Um. All right, I have a feeling. Okay, there we go. Let's let's just check in here still while we're still in here. Cuz you never know. What's up there? Nothing. All right, I'm going to enjoy that for as long as I can. I I really hope they um Oh, let's keep looking. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, just being able to pause the game when you're playing solo, go to the bathroom really quick. I hope they don't change that cuz I I think they have live servers now. Um where you can't pause while in the middle of the game. They might do something similar to Cold War though, where you're able to... Oh, is it up there? Where you're able to pause with a party. I hope they do that. That was, that was pretty nice if, if like the host paused. Um, especially like, you know, late nights with the boys. Just being able to, you know, just like take a break and go eat. Um, or even, you know, just go do whatever you need to do for a few seconds. Um, I hope the servers aren't shit either because if they are I'm, I'm gonna be a little upset uh, We've had to deal with you know some pretty shitty servers in the past All right, I'm gonna bank that it's it probably spawned either over there I don't see anything. It's probably down here. It'll probably be in a similar spot over here. Maybe Oh There we go Completely missed it from all the way back there Let's check this area one more time. Hmm. What about these doors? Do these doors have anything? Oh. Pain increments. So 60,000 is the goal. Alright, so I guess we got all the tombstones we needed. 60,000 is the goal now. Let's try to get, um... Uh, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Hurry up, go away. Hurry up, go away. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's activate this, because I don't know. And I kind of wasted it. Okay. So we do have all the perk slots. I probably should have just picked up that perk anyways. I just now realized that that is what the tombstones were doing. Is unlocking the perk slots. But yeah, that was a fun little easter egg. Kind of gave me uh, some buried vibes. Let's use PPSH. Let's get some points here. This actually might be the best spot to kind of like chill because I only have one spawn point to really worry about. I don't really think they come up behind me. But yeah, it's time to lock in now. Alright, W aim. I think I'm just gonna wait for them. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, let's um let's just save our money. Let's not buy any more perks. I don't need any more perk slots. Unless I get really, really low in ammo and I need to get meal kick for some reason. Uh let's go ahead and let's go ahead right now. Let's actually pay in an increment. Uh, because we can do that. So let's do that really quick. Oh man, I don't know why my game keeps on doing that. Spawn below. Down below. Down below. Okay. Hey buddy. Alright, I gotta wait for them again. I forgot. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna a repeat here. Sweet. There we go. 
Yeah. All right, so we should have 55,000 left to go. I think the only other thing I would really do is spend money on the PPSH and getting it pack a punch. Uh, but like I said, I think we're doing pretty good on ammo. It is kind of still low on rounds here, so I don't really think I'm going to need it pack a punch. If anything, I do want to keep it as kind of like my money maker because I feel like that'll be the easiest thing to do. Um. All right. Yeah, I think we're just chilling right here. I'm not really too worried, actually. I thought this map was going to be a little bit, a little bit more tedious uh, with the spawn points in that crowded area, but at least we found a pretty decent spot here. Let's go ahead and pop this. Try to save up our ammo as much as we can. This should be the end of the round. Cool. Oh, we got one more zombie. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop a few more increments here. I do like the, the wave counter. I did like that they did that in uh, World War II zombies. All right, there we go. Let's hit this. Let's hit this. I know I said I wouldn't spend any money. What is that? What is that? Some sort of syringe. It almost looks like... Kind of like a, a self-revive type of perk. I think it might give me a... Uh, I, I don't know. It might allow me to replenish my health back faster. Like I said, some of these perks are a little foreign to me. Sorry, boys. I was locking in. I was locking in and not talking. Nice little max ammo. I want to try to utilize, utilize this as much as I can. Uh, I don't want to get that... Um, the carpenter just yet. Uh, actually, at all, because I don't want to... I don't want to have to deal with slower spawns. Right, let's get this. I wonder how the Omni movement is going to work for uh, Black Ops 6. And I, I wonder, because I'm on PC this time around. This is going to be my first Black Ops game actually playing on PC. And so I wonder if the movements are going to be a little bit overpowered for PC. I, I don't know. I might go back and play on controller. I mean, I've been playing on controller basically my entire life so i can't really see playing cod with anything else other than a controller um but i'll definitely give keyboard and mouse a try uh, i mean i'm doing it right now and i've been doing it for the past about a, about a year i've kind of gotten used to it i'm still i wouldn't say i'm as efficient with my movements as i would be on controller um, but I mean, if you guys ever played games like Apex Legends, you can do some crazy, crazy fucking movements with, uh, with keyboard and mouse. Like just, just the inputs that you can do is, is really, really useful. There's only so many inputs you can put on a, a controller, unless obviously you have a, a scuff, then you can kind of do uh, a little bit more, but I'm pretty sure those back, those back bumpers do tie into your, your B or your, your circle and your square. Uh, depending on what what console you're playing on so I'm pretty sure those are still just tied into those inputs and they're not they're not their own separate ones yeah I think we're chilling I think we got dogs next round and Ammo is definitely not scarce.
Let's put these our specialists next round. Grab this. I'm pretty sure it's dog round though. Quite positive. Okay, I could have put money down on it. I could have put. Somebody needs to bring like. Oh, I'm just fucking with you. I don't know how that would work. <laughs> Imagine sports betting for Call of Duty. <laughs> um, another game I do play is I do play Rocket League. Uh, I've talked about it on this channel quite a bit. Um, and I don't I won't be doing any sort of you know videos for it Not until I do get like better specs for my PC just because uh, the resolution does drop when I record it a little bit Which is a little disappointing. It's one of my favorite games to play and I would definitely love sharing my like my most favorite moments with you guys um, But I mean I might I might stream it. I might I don't know um, but back to the point I feel like I feel like sports betting for Rocket League would be insane. Like, I don't know if there's any of you guys who are who are, you know, Rocket League lovers like I am. Um, and you guys watch like RLCS and whatnot, but I mean Rocket League's pretty it's pretty big. It's like it's basically, you know, just just soccer with cars. And um I, I don't see why it can't turn into like quite literally one of the biggest esports there is. Uh especially internationally. I mean, you know, uh soccer or football, whatever you want to call it, is um I mean, it's like an international culture, you know. Um, I mean, it's a pretty great sport. I do have bias because I, I did I did play it in undergrad. I played it all of undergrad, uh, but got to lock in. Never mind. But I mean, yeah, soccer is just one of those sports where you know it's it's played all over the world, and I feel like I feel like Rocket League. Um, really sets itself apart from a lot of other esports. One second. Sorry, that was a little obnoxious. <laughs> All right, let's move forward a little bit. One or close where, but yeah, uh, I feel like a, a huge, a huge limitation for for esports, or at least watching esports as like somebody who's never watched like a certain one before. Um. All right, so we just gotta get seven thousand more. Well, six thousand and some change, but. Um. Yeah, I feel like if you're watching Rocket League for the first time, you know, it's it's pretty easy to understand what's going on. I mean, it's it's literally just soccer with cars. <laughs> I. Like, um, I know what League of Legends is, but I've never actually played. Um, and so I don't quite understand exactly everything that's going on. Uh, similarly, um, um, gotta lock in. Sweet, okay. Yeah, similarly, I feel like, um, like, Overwatch is, like, a huge, huge game. But because I never played it, I don't quite understand, you know, what's what's impressive, you know, about the game. I, I shouldn't say it like that. I mean, like, um, when, when players do something really cool, um, I guess I don't take into appreciation how hard those, like, mechanics are, because, you know, I've never played the game before. Um, but I feel like Rocket League there's a little bit more appreciation, you know. It, it, people do really, really cool things, especially now where the game's heading. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the Bible ending. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching me play yet another custom zombies match. Um, I, I love I love playing these games. So let me know if you guys want to see more down in the comments below Once again, if you guys feel so inclined hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for future uploads uh, But with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace